keep it secret, it's different bills Hey, don't put them in, you need it, I got it listed, yeah You wanna make it, I'll show you just how to make it, yeah I got all the rarest bills, and I ain't done, yeah Went from the finish to making bills like a prospect Flow space and slashes to catching this with a lot threat You keep the medals cause the red one's coming up next Only scratch the surface, still they try to drag my name in dirt They try to bring me down, see me win, you ain't like me Yo, what's good my nephews and nieces? This is your favorite uncle, Uncle Demi, and today I have another special banger for you, all right? Today we got Jamal Murray, aka the Blue Arrow build. Now we all know this build is about to be really, really good. Now before we get into the video though, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. Liking up the video will push the video to the recommended, and of course subscribe, it will put you on OD game for my daily double uploads okay so um i know y'all might be asking like why is he called blue arrow i did my research you know unk got you so basically we all know jamal murray he played for kentucky which of course you know is blue and he also had the celebration of shooting an arrow so it happened against lsu um when it was like nasty televised he did like some choreographed um shooting an arrow to one of his teammates and he acted like he got hit by and fell to the ground um, and then from that point on, he was called the Blue Arrow. Blue standing for where he's from from Kentucky, and of course the arrows that he shoot. So there you have it, all right? So anyway, let's go with this. So I mean, so Jamal Murray's a point guard. He's right-handed. He's number 27. And I'm telling you what, man, he is starting to heat up. So don't get it twisted. This probably is not going to be, um, if you're looking at this, uh, you know, a month from now, you're probably not going to be able to make it because the attributes are going to change because he's starting to get right back to form when he was playing um, in the bubble when he was going crazy in the bubble before he tore his ACL so he's starting to get in rare form he's starting to cook up the nuggets are looking good so but you do want to go 6'4 207 6'7 wingspan body type I went to find um, you do know I like to go 86 with the close shot that's gonna give us fast twitch finish finisher on um, on gold and then of course my layup I'm going 82 that's the lowest you can go but that's good because you're still going to be able to get the Zach Levine layup package, which right now it looks statistically is the best layup package in the game. You know we got to go 86 on that driving dunk. That's going to give us limitless takeoff on gold, posterizer on silver. And then we're skipping standing dunk, and then we're going straight to 76 on the post control. This is pretty good to have post control like this because um, he does work in the post. Okay, so don't get twisted. He does work in the post. I was able to boost it a little bit, but it's really good because you get the post band technician. Um, on gold you also be able to get your back down punisher on silver um jump shot you go 87 on the mid-range go 85 on the three-point shot now i know some people um might want to go 92 to get limitless um limitless three ball on gold but to be honest with you you really don't need that okay um so to be able to balance out these attributes a little better makes more sense instead of going low in the mid-range and high on a three-point shot but if that's something that you want to do by all means you can all right but in my professional opinion you're better off going like this okay because there's more versatility within this build you can work in the post you can fade from three still you can still be able to shoot from limitless and to be honest with you i don't really care about go limitless if i'm a spot up to be honest with you i don't really care because once you get sharp takeover you can shoot from anywhere anyway with limitless sharp so why go ahead and go that high to a 92 attribute but that's just my opinion all right um pass accuracy go to 82 your ball handle, you want to go to 89. That's going to be huge so you can get that quick first step Hall of Fame. Of course, go 75 speed with ball to give you the MJ dribble style. And then defensively, you want to go 27 on interior defense. Go 80 on your perimeter defense. And then um, 48 on your steal. 34 on your block. This is the only thing that really kind of sucks. Um, 29 on your offensive rebound and 43 on your defensive. So these are things that kind of suck when, you, when you're making these replicas is that you're adding just little, little attributes here and there that we don't really need. Obviously, in a situation like this, you wouldn't want to have offensive or defensive rebound. You wouldn't really care about block. And you probably, none, no interior defense, you just probably want to just do your perimeter still. But with a replica, you got to do all this, okay? Um, 40, and it's still a good build, though. It's still a really good build. Don't get it twisted. 46 on the strength. You want to go 75 on the vert because that's going to give you the pro contact dunk animations. And, of course, top it off with the 90 stamina. So what you're looking at is a very solid build, 21, 26, and 20 with eight defensive badges, okay? So in the grand scheme of things, <clears throat> it's a really solid build, really good. Um, one of the better replica builds you're going to be able to get in the game. So again, that's what makes this really exciting. And um, the takeovers you have is slashing, you have shot creating, you have sharp, and you have playmaking. So we already know the vibes. Going double limitless takeoff is always going to be a good option, especially for my nephews and nieces with Accelerator. 
You um, obviously can be able to shoot from crazy range. But also another good one would be the finishing moves in Limitless Takeoff. He does have contact dunks. So why not be able to have that takeover to where you're able to get to the basket and um, do contact dunks and have an extremely big green window with those contact dunks. And then, of course, still have Limitless. If some, some way, shape, or form they're playing really off of you, you can just go ahead and shoot it from Limitless. So I love this badge combination here because it's virtually unstoppable, especially if you know how to time your shots from deep and you know how to you know use the um, pro stick for contact dunks. All right? Um, but, yeah, here you have it, my nephews and nieces. We are going to be looking at a really dope um, replica build name here. Um, the Blue Arrow is just a really, really dope name, period. I think that's just fire. And here we go, man, Jamal Murray. Now, again, like I said, if you're looking at this video a couple weeks from now, you might not be able to get the name because he is cooking up. His attributes are definitely going to rise. He's getting better and better. I'm not sure what his overall is right now, but it's going to be higher um, by the next update. So just keep that in mind. Um, I might start doing like um, YouTube shorts with just updates and stuff because it doesn't make sense to make a full video on them. But um, just keep that in mind. Check out my look out for YouTube shorts because I probably will be doing updates like that. Okay. But anyway, let's go ahead and test this build out real quick. Um, let's get to 99. And of course, we'll get you out of here. Let's do this here. Boom. Um, and this situation here, fast switch on bronze. I'm sorry. Bronze. Fast switch on bronze. Or, well, for right now, bronze. Um, where are we at? Um, Giant Slayer. Get that all the way maxed out of Hall of Fame. That is insane. Acrobat here, so that's nine, ten. Okay, we got a lot here. Okay, good. So we want to get limitless takeoff here. Boom. We want to get posterizer here. Boom. All right, now we can go ahead and get back to. Remember, you got the posting ability, so you can probably go on the post, or you can just go ahead and get your fast switch on gold. Um, you're pretty good here, man. But you definitely want Giant Slayer. It's very OP, and at six four, going to get ups against six nines, you're going to get a very big benefit of going with Giant Slayer. Okay. Um, here. Um, obviously, you want to go ahead and go Green Machine. You want to go Volume Shooter. Uh, is that five, six, that's nine. Let's get one more here. Let's just go. Um, let me just throw, go Claymore here. I'm not going to use it, but we want to make sure we got all these here. So we want Blinders, and then we want Limitless Range. I, some people love doing Dead Eye and Blinders. That's a good combination to have. You can do that. Um, me, personally, I probably would go with Amps. I think Amps is really good. <laughs> um, I'm just a firm believer in it. But um, it's really your preference when it comes to that. And um, I would probably go meeting position on gold just to help with, you know, the shots in the mid range. But um, this is a good combination here. But you could also go dead eye. A lot of people don't. Some people don't like using amped. Me, I drain my stamina meter a lot. So I like using amped. But it's your preference, okay? Um, on here, you want to go on pluckable. You want to go quick first step, of course. Um, you need to go... Where is hand nose go break? Yeah, clamp breaker, handles for days. So we actually get everything here. Cool. And then we can go here. You might want to, not might, you definitely want to try to get your bell out on bronze to do that then. Um, and then you probably just want to go ahead and get the, you know, four or five points to get hyperdrive. This is really good. Defensively, don't even worry about it. I mean, go ahead and get box. Well, let me see. We can probably go, let's go pick dodger. Let's core that. Menace, no, let's core menace. Go pick dodger. Um, and then we can go workhorse there you go so there you go we can rock it out like that but anyway there you have it my nephews and nieces this is a jamal mori replica build aka the blue arrow hopefully you enjoyed the video if you did just make sure you drop a like you subscribe to the channel and as always your favorite old head uncle demi i'll be back really really soon with another banger man and you know when i say I'll be back soon with another banger you know exactly what i'm talking about i'm talking about tomorrow man i'm out